Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the action button on your iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro Max, iPhone 17 Air, and iPhone 17 Pro. Let's get started. All right, so if you're new to the iPhone 17 series of phones, then this may be a new button for you. This is called the action button and it replaced the silent switch from the iPhone 15 Pro and its functionality remains the same by default, providing you with the ability to just press and hold to silence your phone and then pressing and holding to activate the ringer. Now I'm gonna go through how you can customize this and use the action button to perform other tasks and then also how you silence your phone if you change the silence button. But as always, if you're looking to learn more, there's a full link to the iPhone 17 tips, tricks, and tutorial guide in the video description. So now that you know how to activate the action button to customize the features and what it does, you're gonna open the settings application and scroll down to the action button option. We'll tap to open it and it'll show you the current setting you have enabled with the action button. So for us, it's silent. If you swipe to the left, it'll move on to the next one, which is the focus. Focus is Apple's way of controlling notifications and distractions. For example, you can set it to do not disturb, sleep or work, or even create your own custom focus. And each focus can filter out apps, people and notify you and even change your home screen or lock screen. It'll switch you into that mode, helping you stay focused without opening settings. Now, I'm not going to go over how to set up a focus. If you want to learn about that, you can use the card up top and it'll take you to a focus mode tutorial. And now if we press and hold on that action button, you can see we get that moon icon. And that means now do not disturb is enabled. We'll go back into our settings here and move to the next one. This is a dedicated camera button. And basically when you set the action button to be your camera, it's going to open the camera app and also act as a button that you can press to take photos and videos. Additionally, you can tap on photo here and you can choose where it's going to open. So if you want it to take a photo, a selfie, a video, a portrait or a portrait selfie. So Basically, it's first option that it's going to open in is what you choose down here. So for this example, let's just keep it on photo. I'm going to press and hold on that action button and it's going to activate my camera. I can then press on the action button and now it's going to take a photo. If I press and hold on the action button, it's going to take a video until I let go. And that's how the action button works with the camera. We'll go back into the action settings and we'll move to the next one this is a simple flashlight this is one that i find to be very useful at times being able to just trigger your flashlight with a button is very convenient and it works pretty simple so in the flashlight section press and hold and the flashlight turns on press and hold again it'll turn off the next option is a voice memo so if you record or you have meetings things like that, it might be useful for you to turn on the voice memo. For example, if we press and hold, you'll see that we have a voice memo that's starting up top and we can just talk, it'll record. So the meeting, a school note, anything like that. And then you're just going to press and hold to stop it. The next one is recognize music. And this uses Shazam. So if you have music playing and you wanna know what song that was, for example, you would then press and hold, and it would begin listening, as you can see up here, and then it will attempt to find the song and give you the information of what song it was. And no song was found. So that is the Shazam or Recognize Music. Here we have the Translate. Now, if I press and hold on the action button, it's going to start listening to me. You may have to configure this. You can see it's saying everything I'm saying in English. When I stop, It'll Va a empezar a escucharme. Puede que tengas que configurar esto. Puedes ver que está diciendo todo lo que estoy diciendo en inglés cuando me detengo. And there you go. It's going to translate it. So you can actually speak. It'll say what you want to say in their language. And maybe you can get any instructions that you needed. The next option here is the magnifier. And this opens a magnifier application on the iPhone. So we'll just press and hold here. And this will then allow you to 
magnify and get really close to things. You can use this little bar right here and you can see I can get right into all that dust that's on that table there. And you can use this app activities, settings, you could even capture what you're looking at and then you can zoom into it from there. You can share it. It's an overlooked app. Great if you're trying to look closely at something, but it is available also in the action button if you want to use it. Moving over is probably my favorite one, and this will allow you to choose a control from the control center. So for example, we tap choose a control. Now we can use any of these options that are available in our control center here that will allow you to trigger an alarm, scan a QR code, turn dark mode on and off, and anything you would need. For example, let's choose calculator. So if you need a calculator regularly, press and hold, it'll open up the calculator. While you're in the calculator, if you press and hold, nothing will happen. You'll have to exit normally like so. Back over to the action button, we'll move over again. And this one here is a little bit more advanced. It's going to allow you to use a shortcut. So you can open the shortcuts app. And if you've set up shortcuts, then you can choose one from your list here and you'd be able to add that shortcut. Now shortcuts could be things like triggering a specific app to open up or having, or for example, having like an app like X open and it'll automatically start a tweet. So you can just start typing right away. Now, the only thing with shortcuts is that they are a little bit more advanced, but if I just set it to this one where I could scan a document here, now all I would do is press and hold here and it would automatically open up the scanner so I could scan my documents really quickly. This one's a very basic shortcut, but there are a lot of more advanced shortcuts you could use and create that would be beneficial. This allows you to choose accessibility features. And if you have vision accessibility options that you like to use, or listening options or motor options, you can go through this whole list here and you can enable whichever ones you want. So if you wanted to, for example, use the zoom, which a lot of people don't like this. So if I press and hold on this zoom option, it's now enabled zoom. I can use three fingers and double tap on my screen. And I get this question all the time. People get their phones stuck like this and they don't know how they did it. It's just three fingers tapping and you're back out and the zoom is gone. But it's totally up to you on what you choose. And then the last option is no action at all. I'm not 100% sure why anybody would want this other than maybe it was just annoying and being triggered too much. Maybe from where you keep it or your case or your pocket. But that's an option as well if you want to turn off the action button, you can. Now, for those of you who do change the action button over to something new, like me, I've got mine set to activate my scanner so I can scan documents. You can still silence your iPhone and it's done through the control center. So when you pull down, there is a silence switch there. You can tap to silence or turn the ringer on. Now, if you don't see the silence button, tap that plus right here, and then you're going to tap out of control. From here, you just want to type in silent and you'll see the silent mode option. You can tap on it and it'll add it to your control center. You can just swipe up and now you have a silent switch. Now let's go over some iPhone tips that you can use with your action button. And the first one is in the settings and it involves Apple intelligence. Now, if you have not turned on Apple intelligence, you're gonna to wanna to turn it on right here. You can tap, it'll go through a couple of options here. You can choose to set it up later or set it up now, and then just go through how you want this all to work. This is just giving you updates on different things. And if you haven't set up Siri, you'll be prompted as well to enable Siri. But once Apple intelligence is on, now, if we go into settings and we go to the action button and we scroll back a little bit here, you'll notice that we have other options available to us as well called visual intelligence. So this is an option that lets you learn about the world around you 
and get more information about what you see. Now, visual intelligence, you can use it already here with the camera control button. But now with this being on here, if we press and hold here, it's going to open up an option like this. And it's going to allow you to use the images that iPhone uses to identify objects, places, and things like that. It's going to try to figure it out. So just for this example, okay, we'll tap continue. I'm going to take a picture of this guy right here. Let it scan. You can then tap ask right here. Tap continue. And this is going to allow me to ask ChatGPT about it. And you can see here, this Bob Ross figurine depicts him with his iconic Afro holding a paint palette. So it's telling you. So if you ever didn't know what something was, you'd be able to figure it out there. Additionally, let's try this guy right here. It scans it and we can do a search right here. And we'll just tap continue and it'll pull up a Google search. And it is showing me all of the different searches of this little troll here. So I can tap on it and I can see an eBay listing of this troll and it's selling for $8.95. So that is visual intelligence and you can configure this if you turn on Apple intelligence on your iPhone and then you add the visual intelligence option on your action button. Personally, I don't see why you would need to use that if you're using this button right here to access visual intelligence, but it's totally up to you if you prefer that over the standard button. So that is how you use the action button on the iPhone Air, iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro, iPhone 17 Pro Max, and even older iPhones starting from the iPhone 15 Pro, and on. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, set this up for yourself and let me know which action you're using. Currently, I've been using just the silent switch for this as I've been needing to silence my phone quite a bit lately. But let me know what you guys are using in the comments. I'm actually curious to see if anybody's using some of them that I wouldn't think like, is anybody using no action? I'm really curious to know that. But as always, if you're looking for more iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorial videos, there's a full playlist of that in the video description. Check it out to get the most out of your new iPhone. Also, hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. I'm also posting Apple Watch videos as well. So if you have an Apple Watch and you want to get tutorials, check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.